everybody. This is Rizka from Vatican. In today we will have the celebration of the Pasqua, and you can see in the Easter day uh, all the carabinieri and the governmental officer ready to prepare themselves for the celebration. Before the celebration, the Italian military guards, police and securities held a parade, entering the piazza with drums and music instruments. People who want to attend the ceremony needs to obtain the invitation letter months before. It's free of charge, but since it's only a limited number, people need to register themselves some months prior to the celebration. The celebration this year also special because Pope Francis managed to appear in front of the public since he is also facing some health issues. The ceremony was starting since 10 in the morning and the praying was held in several languages. During the Easter celebration, Catholics waiting for his special messages called Urbi et Orbi or translated as for the city of Rome and for the world. My thoughts go especially to the victims of the many conflicts throughout the world, beginning with those in Israel and Palestine and in Ukraine. May the risen Christ open the path of peace for the war-torn people of those regions. In calling for respect for the principles of international law, I express my hope for a general exchange of all prison, prisoners between Russia and Ukraine, all for the sake of all. I appeal once again that access I appeal once again access to humanitarian aid be ensured to Gaza and call once more for the prompt release of the hostages seized on 7 October last and for an immediate ceasefire in the Strip. Let us Let us not allow the current hostilities to continue to have grave repercussions on the civil populations. By now are the limit of its endurance and above all on children. How much suffering we see in the eyes of these children. With those, they have forgotten how to smile. Those children in that area of war have forgotten how to smile. With those eyes, they ask us, why? Why all this death? Why all this destruction? War is always an absurdity and a defeat. Let us not allow the strengthening winds of war to blow on Europe and the Mediterranean. Let us not yield to the logic of weapons and rearming. Peace is never made with arms, but with outstretched hands and open hearts. Brothers and sisters, let us not forget Syria, which for 14 years has suffered from the effects of a long and devastating war. So many deaths and disappearances, so much poverty and destruction call for a response on the part of everyone and of the international community. La mia prima volta, sì, è un'emozione unica. A vederla in televisione sembra una cosa, ma dal vivo è emozionante. Andari reporting from Vatican from City Day.